What's up guys, uh, today's video we're in the Viper and I'm going to meet up with some people and some cars. So let's see what we get into. Okay guys, a bunch of people have showed up. We got the slammed 488 jeans car. Obviously on air ride. And then he's also got a demon on air ride as well. And she's on the ground. I'll show you some of the other cars too. Yeah, look, look how loaded. Got a Hellcat. Nicely stanced out. Check this one out. Work next to us. Look how small the Viper looks next to that. Another charger on air. Very nice. I think we might need to get into uh, the Mustang gang, you guys. There's a lot of following on those. Might have to look into it. We'll see. Let's get out of here. Costco. Let's go in and get this GoPro. 
If you guys are wondering, the new GoPro Hero 8 Black is only $2.89 right now at Costco. Hey guys, just got out of Costco. GoPro Hero 8 bananas. I'll see if she has a chart, maybe we'll use it on the way back. So check it out guys, $2.89, it gives you a case, a handle, an SD card, and a spare battery actually, so not bad. Comes with all the stuff. You guys wonder what I use mostly to film on this channel. It's a GoPro and it's time for an upgrade so we went from the hero 7 black to the 8 so let's see how she looks all right so we're on the hero 8 I'm not sure how the audio is but i mean i got the fan on i got the ac running since we're in the middle of the desert and we got the car running so let's head back well here's the hero 8 black footage in 1080p let me know what you guys think of the difference you guys have been seeing my other footage on my iphone and this is the gopro let me know if you guys like this one better you guys look at the lineup for everybody trying to go to that casino right now this is the first weekend that they're open and look at that line this is insane everyone is lined up just to go to the casino look at that the police are like escorting it gambling it's an addiction all right guys, so we're back in the garage. Everything worked out and we had a ton of fun today. So um, that was a cool cruise and it was good to get out. And a couple things showed up. So I will show you guys what we have. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be installing the cam, not into that blown up 5.9 liter engine, but the one in the Dakota RT that is sitting outside right there. So we have that truck, you guys already know, but a couple things showed up that we need and I'm still waiting for a couple more things. So I ordered this from Comp Cams and I'll link it if you guys want. But this is a crank holding tool, I believe it's called. I think that's the official name. Crank socket. So you can put a half inch drive in there and this slips over the snout and you can actually turn the crank and then you put your dial indicator wheel so you put your wheel in here for to, so you can degree the cam. So the big wheel, you know, the one that has all degrees on it, you put it in here and then you can snug it up with this locking ring. So I figured we're probably gonna be doing this a lot more, so I might as well get the correct tool to do it. And then I also got this thing, which is, I'm kind of excited to try this actually. So this is a tool that removes the valve springs from the head without having to take the heads off. So this bolts into the head so it bolts in where the rockers go, underneath the Velcros, of course. So once you take that off, take the rockers off, you put this on, and then this actually has a bolt that you compress and it pushes down the valve springs. Um, so you can get the retainers out and then you can release them. So obviously we're gonna have to remove a spark plug. And I've seen people do it a few different ways. Some people put like nylon rope into the combustion chamber so that the valves don't drop down, or we'll probably end up using the compressor compressed air, it'll hold the valves in once we pressurize the cylinder, and then we can use this tool and swap out our valve springs since we have all those valve springs there. So I'm um, pretty excited, you guys. Like I said, the only thing I'm waiting for right now is the JEGS uh, degree wheel kit, which should show up about Wednesday. I also have to order some gaskets. So I gotta get some gaskets for the front timing cover and just whatever else we might get into. I guess a water pump gasket and a few gaskets like that. And I also have to take this off of this engine. So. Lots of work ahead, lots of fun ahead. If you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. We have a lot of Mopar content and all kinds of car content actually. We're gonna continue to post almost on a daily basis. So make sure you're subscribed. Also turn on that bell so you get all the post notifications so that you're notified of all those latest videos. We'll see you on the next one.